Okay, after you've logged in to Drupal, you're going to go under Content Management, then Content, then Add Article. Okay, first thing you're going to do is enter a headline. If you copy and paste out a DTI, just uh, replace out the curly apostrophes and the single quote marks with straight ones. Just manually you switch it out, type it in. Otherwise, you'll see weird symbols. Priority weight, centerpiece, lead story, it's a one. Otherwise, or it could be a two, three, four if it's a sub centerpiece. Otherwise, it's a five. Kicker, just ignore the kicker. Time saver, you can copy and paste that out of DTI or and also delete the in. Sometimes there's an in in DTI that doesn't translate into what it should in online, so get rid of it. Dateline, just start typing it in. You should automatically pull the rest of it in. Byline, the same thing. If you just start typing in a name, it should it's an auto-completion field, so it should finish. Okay. Now we're going to get to the uh, the body portion of the text, you know, where you're entering all the text. But first thing you need to do is open your HTML kit because you need to add spaces in the text if you're getting it out of DTI, if there's no spaces between paragraphs. So just clear it out, make your, your document blank. Go ahead and copy the text out of DTI. Paste it into your HTML kit. Okay, now you're going to do control H and then uh, find what, forward slash in, place with, forward slash in, forward slash in. Full text under scope, all under direction, and under options select regular expression, and then replace all. So now everything is spaced out appropriately. And you just can copy all of it. Before you do that, actually, uh, the, the uh, tagline, make sure the it's not broken up. Then copy it all and then go into the body portion of, of Drupal scroll down to the little T icon with the folder underneath it and then just paste the text in there and then go to the bottom of the block, the body block click insert So you're done with the, the body section. Now you just uh, need to scroll down to the section that says channels. And it's going to be NR com and news. Next is the taxonomy section. So whatever the appropriate category is, check it off. Okay, if there's going to be a uh, fast facts box, you click the fast facts box link, and it's kind of set up the same way as your text. You got you have a body section, a headline section, and there's that little vanilla folder with the T icon at the bottom of the body block. That you, you do the same thing. You click that after you've copied out your your uh, information. So change that to uppercase. And then go ahead and click that little folder. And paste it in there. And insert. Okay, so let's say you pasted something in, in the body section. And you, oops, you just realized you need to go back in there and fix it. Like it says, sprint cup, that should be upper lower case. So you're going to go over to the, the icon that says HTML and click that. And then just manually go in there and type it in. And then update. And you can bold if you want. Okay, now images. So click the image link. And if it hasn't already been created or in the system, you're going to have to add the image. So go ahead and click Add Image. Okay, 
enter a title, put the date as well into the title. This is something the public won't see. This is just for us to be easier to find uh, photos easier in the archives. And then go ahead and grab your photo. And then open it and then upload. Drupal works best if the pictures are seven or a thousand pixels wide by 750 pic pixels tall. That's the ideal uh, dimensions. It doesn't have to be those dimensions, but that's the way that works best with those dimensions because it can scale down. And then alternate title and title enter something descriptive in case the link is broken and the user needs uh, needs something some way of identifying what they're not being able to see. So when you're done with that. You basically can ignore the rest of the stuff, uh, except for, you know, ignore the kicker, ignore the priority weight, unless you're going to have more than one picture associated with the story and you want one to trump the other. Then you'd make a priority weight, one, two, three, and so forth. So now we're going to enter the caption field, and that's where you enter that little T folder icon, open that up, and then paste your text into the caption block. And you can, you know, change the style however you need to change it. And then insert. You need to add the credit, so you just start typing in the uh, photographer's name, and that should pull it in automatically. Then taxonomy. Not necessarily need a taxonomy, but it doesn't hurt if if need be. Um, and then publishing options. It should default to publish, and then you just click submit. And then just in that black shaded area to the right of the border, between the borders, click there, left click mouse there, and that'll bring you back to the original article that you were working on. So you've already added the channels, you've done the taxonomy, so we just keep scrolling down. You've added, and the image is automatically added, so you don't need to do anything else with that. And just keep scrolling down. There's an external link or an internal link. External, if it's um, already in the system, you just start typing it in and it'll pull it in automatically. Same thing with internal links if it's a story. Otherwise, you have to go to the content section and add a brand new external link. Same thing with an, uh, internal. Although internals are just basically other stories that have already been published. Okay, normally with the um, publishing, you're going to publish it in real time. You don't need to do this part. This is just for the night crew who are posting, delay posting it like until next morning at 3 a.m. So they have to type this information, you know, the year followed by the uh, month and the date. For the rest of us, you click publish and promote it to front page. You would ignore the scheduling part, but if you need to get this up now, you click Publish, pub Promote it to Front Page. Just like if you were scheduling it, you'd actually do the same thing, and then click Submit. And then if you want to see it in the list, you go back under Content Management, Content and List, and there it is. And it says not published because we're scheduling it to be published. Otherwise, it'll say published. And the last thing you need to do is clear the cache if you want to get it up right now. That basically forces it to update the web page. That's a step you don't need to do if you're scheduling it to be published. Clear cache is also if you go back into a story and make changes, that's, you click submit and then you click clear cache. So those are going to be the last two steps you do regardless of whether it's a new story or a story you're editing.